Hi, this is Bina with Garden Inspire. Thanks for joining me on an herb walk today. This is elderberry. This particular one is a blue fruited one. And I know that because I've been here when the fruit is ripe. There's different varieties. Black fruited and blue fruited ones are both edible and medicinal. Red fru fruited ones should not be consumed. Right now it has these white flowers here. You can see some right here. And elderberry has white to pale pink bunches of flowers. The flowers are edible. Sometimes people batter them, make tinctures and other things out of them. This one, the flower is starting to go to fruit. And here's some fruit by itself. This fruit will get quite a bit larger, about the size of a large blueberry. And will have that whitish cast to it like blueberries. You can eat the fruit, but it needs to be cooked and you need to strain out the seeds and stems and it's often made into syrups and um, tinctures and things like that. It's good for viruses, but it can also taste really good if you're making a syrup. Um, so the flowers and the fruit are what are edible. Fruit needs to be fully ripe, strain out the seeds. And the black fruited one has smaller berries and they're almost, they're more of a really dark purplish color instead of actually black. And sometimes leaves, when you buy them at the store to grow in your yard, the leaves might be burgundy or green and um, white or something like that. As long as it has one of those colors of fruit, the black or the um, blue, it is edible. And the blue fruited one, they say, does not need a pollinator, but the black fruited ones do. They recommend that if you have an American elderberry, that you get another variety of an American elderberry. If you're getting a, if you have a European elderberry, that you get another variety of European elderberry. But in the wild, you'll see black and blue fruited and red fruited ones. Again, don't eat the red fruited ones. And it can be a tree or a small shrub. The blue can get up to 25 feet. Usually in the wild, I don't see them that large. It tends to be in shaded areas near water, but it can also handle other conditions in case you're planting it in your yard, or you might see it in other places. I have seen the blue fruited one in a dry, sunny hillside, but commonly more shade um, near some water. So again, this is elderberry, a great plant to grow in your yard, or if you're finding it in the wild and identify it properly, then you can use that. And the leaf, this is an entire leaf with different leaflets on it. And so you want to make sure you look at the leaf and the flower and different parts of it. Sometimes when I break off a piece of a branch, it has kind of a unique smell. It's hard to explain it. But once you've smelled it, that can also be an identifier for you. So elderberry, thank you for joining me on my herb walk today. This is Buna with Garden Inspire. Hit subscribe below and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for joining us.